we won't start next lesson because I want to make you strong uh, in other areas after the break. Huh? Okay. Asikinul Kabiru. What is it? Asikinul Kabiru. What is Asikinu? Muttada. Uh, what is Al Kabiru? Nah. Fine. Where is the Khabar? Hadun. Like Dalun. Hadun. What is the meaning of Hadun? Shar. Huh? Jiddan. Very shar. Are you with me, brother? The big knife is very sharp. Got the idea? Inshallah. Man hadal waladul kathiru. Who is this? Hadal waladu, this boy. And kathiru, this short boy. Who is this short boy? What is the answer? Wabnu. Wabnul mudarrisil jadidi. Got the idea? Let us analyze. Who are? Where is the khabar? Ibn Mashara. Wahua Mudaf. Where is Mudaf Ilahi? Mudar is and what is Jadid doing here? Nah. If Jadid is Jadid, uh, can it be Marfu or Majroor? Majroor. Why? Because the Manut is Majroor. Al Mudarisi, Al Jadidi. See, they, they follow each other. Okay? You know what I say to, <laughs> as a joke to the students? Nath and Manut, they follow each other. Huh? Whatever Manut says, Nath does, you know. Huh? Kash apne bache bhi aise hote. <laughs> do you, do you, <laughs> I wish our children were like Nath Manut. <laughs> but no, it is. <laughs> we are asking too much. <laughs> yes, Sister Mamuna. Which one, Sister? Wabnul Mudarrisil Jadidi. Put a vowel sign, brother. Wabnu and then Mudarrisi. Put a kasra. Al Jadidi. Put a kasra. Are you with me? Wabnul Mudarrisil Jadidi. Huwa Muptida. Where is Khabar? Ibnu. Wa huwa Mudaf. And Al Mudarrisi? Mudaf ilahi. And Al Jadidi? Naad. Huh? Inshallah, I, I have gone very slowly today, brother. Uh, because I think we should not rush. In certain new concept, we have to take our time and understand. Now we are going to do this uh, after the break. Huh? And see, number three is all Allazi Allazi. So we will practice our Ismul Mausula and Salatul Mausul. Huh? Inshallah. Let, brother, sisters, let us take a break now. Okay, brothers and sisters, we start our session again after a nice tea break and some uh, uh, goodies. I hope you are all recharged. Batteries are recharged now. Okay, number two is you have to fill in Nath. Baina huh? Kausaini, between the bracket. That Nath is between the bracket. Bada. After you change it, huh? okay, bil al, by here, tahliyatihi is by decorating it with hal, by decorating it with al, wherever it is necessary, in the luzumi, wherever it is necessary. Ain al mudarisu al jadidu, see, you immediately felt al jadidu. Got the idea? Sisters, did you get the idea? Ain al mudarisu al jadidu. Okay, very good. Atajiru. Atajiru. Atajiru al kabiru. Fine, brother. Pesuki. Okay. Ana talibun. Kadimun. There is no need for Al. Huh? Okay. Jalasat Talibu Al Jadidu Khalfa Muhammadin. Is it easy or not, brother? Yeah. Huh? Alhamdulillah, you will find it. Brother Farooq, are you getting there, brother? You have to use the Naat according to the need of the Manut. Huh? Next one, brother. Manil. 
manil waladul tawilul ladhi kharaja al-ana min al-fasli okay next one ammarun waladun kathirun kathirun yes ammarun waladun kathirun faisalun tabibun shahirun see how the nat comes huh? liman hadha sariru al maksuru ha liman hadha sariru al maksuru hadha kalamun maksurun ayna sikinu al hadu ha very good liman hadhihi sayyaratul Jamilatu. I say one more time, brother. Liman hadhi sayyaratul jamilatul. Got the idea, brother? Now, ikra, read. But I would rather make you write it also if you have time, brother. Keep your pencils ready to make a bracket of ism mausula and silatul mausula. Huh? and i want you to feel it brother you will tell me where to start the bracket and where to end the bracket and you will tell me where is mubtada and where is the khabar okay at talibu mubtada then you start a bracket now what is allazi here brother is a nat because it is describing the talib huh? at talibu allazi okay خرج من الفصل الآن bracket ends okay من إندونيسيا شار مزور شيء بجملة خبر شيء قاعد هيدا now remove all the zee brother a طالب من إندونيسيا did you get the idea a طالب من إندونيسيا so what is this brother مبتدا and خبر now all the zee became a nat now what is this kharaja min al fasli al ana jumla fi'l ya ma sha Allah kharaja fi'l ayna fa'il mustatir taqdeeruhu huwa but what will you call this jumla silatul mausul allazi ismul mausul then followed by silatul mausul did you do you feel it brother muhammad insha next one brother الكتاب بركت الذي على المكتب and ما شاء الله see you are not feeling it now you are reading the sentence and you are feeling where the سلطل موصل ends and what is لل مدارسي so where is مبتدا and where is the خبر لل مدارسي so what is this or this is all extra okay describing the book okay الكتاب الذي what is الذي not and what is alal maktabi jar majroor are you with me now we don't have to say shibu jumla it's not necessary jar majroor and it is silatul mausul even if you say shibu jumla silatul mausul it's okay nothing wrong nothing wrong okay okay here brothers and sisters liman hadal kalamul jadi jamilul ladhi alal maktabi okay translation brother No, to whom this beautiful play, pen, which is on the desk, to whom this beautiful pen belongs to, which is on the desk. Okay. So, brother, here we have Haza is there. Are you with me? Haza has come. We are not analyzing the whole sentence, but just a couple of words. Haza has come. And brother, what is Al-Kalamu? Badal. Badal. Okay. And what is Al-Jamilu? Naat. And what is Al-Lazi? Another Naat. And Al-Al-Maktabi? Jar Majroor? Silatul Masul. Do you see? Jar Majroor? Silatul Masul. Here is Badal. Al-Baytul Kabiru. Al-Ladhi fi dhalika shari'i. This is very interesting sentence. We are going to analyze it. Lil Waziri. Okay. 
Do, where do you think we should put the brackets? Shari e. Shari e. Okay. Bracket ends. Lil Bazir. Where is Mubtada, brother? Where is the Khabar? Lil Waziri. See? You can say Al Baitu Lil Waziri. Or you can say Al Baitul Kabiru Lil Waziri. Or you can say Al Baitul Kabiru Lazi Fizalik Shari Lil Waziri. Okay? Now let us start, brother. Al Baitu Mubtada. Al Kabiru Naat. Al Ladi Naat. Fi Harf Jar. Where is Isam Majroor? No, where is Isam Majroor? Zalika. Zalika is Isam Majroor. Okay. Okay. And what is Ashari E? Why Shari E? Not because of fee, brother. No, no, no. It's a Bada. No, it's a Bada. Remember, it is a Badal. Okay? It is a Badal. So if the Zalik is Majroor, then the Badal will be Majroor. Fi Zalik. Fi Zalik Kalsh. Fi Zalik Kashari. Fi. No. Zalik cannot be Zaliki. It's, it's Mabni. Fi Zalik Kashari. Fi Zalik Kashari. Huh? Shari is majroor because Zalika is majroor. Zalika is majroor because Harf Jar came. Okay? Harf Jar had no effect on Shari. Huh? Harf Jar can only have effect on one noun. So, Fi Zalika. Huh? Fi Zalika. And then a Shari is Badal. Sister Mamuna, it's a Badal. Huh? We will be doing. Lot of examples. So, inshallah, you will get lot of practice, inshallah. But just this is a beautiful sentence, so you can uh, 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 see it and analyze it and understand it. Okay, brother, al ladi al ismul mausul. What is fi half char? What is zalik isam majru? What shari badal? And this whole thing is silatul mausul. What is it? Silatul Mausul. Alhamdulillah. Okay. As-sarirul ladhi fi ghurfati khalidin maqsurun. Where is Mubtada? Where is Khabar? Maqsurun, brother. You can just say As-sariru maqsurun. But we want to describe that. So you will say the bed which is in the room of Khalid is broken. Huh? So, brother, as-sariru mubtada. Huh? Allazi naat fi harfchar gurfati isam majroor wa huwa mudaf and al-khalidin mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea? In the room of Khalid. What did I say? In the room of Khalid. Huh? So, uh, where is the Silatul Mausul? Fi Gurfati Khalidin. What is it, Sister Mainas? Fi Gurfati Khalidin. That is your, that is your Silatul Masur. Because Maksurun, what is Maksurun? It's a Khabar. Broken is a Khabar. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Baitun Jadidun. What does it say? One second. Baitun Jadidun. What is Baitun Jadidun? Naat Manut. Do you know Naat Manut now? I want to hear. Of course we know now. Huh? Huh? We know it. Yes, Brother Abdul Qadir, what did you say, Brother? Huh? No, you will call it, in English we call it relative pronoun. In English. Huh? Okay, but you know all pronouns are noun in Arabic. Huh? This is demonstrative pronoun and this is called relative pronoun. Huh? It creates a relationship. Okay, fine. Brothers and sisters, now lesson number 10, we will do it on Monday, inshallah. Huh? I would like you to read it and we'll do it on Monday. Let us do things that we...
normally do in the beginning, but we are now going to do it now. Ready? Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu, Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. One more time. Hua, Huma, Hum, Hiya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahna. Brother, you got to do it and do it nicely, inshallah. Huh? Polish it, inshallah. Okay? Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna, hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna. Anta antum antum, anta antum antum, anti antum antunna, anti antum antunna, ana nahnu, ana nahnu, huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, huwa huma hum. Hiya huma hunna. Brother, I'm only doing it so that you memorize it. Huh? And sing it to your family. Huh? It's a nice little melody. Huh? The whole idea is to convey the message, what the pronouns are, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, I, I have composed many other little, little tunes for different, different, uh, inshallah. I'll, I'll, when the time comes, I'll share with you. Okay, brothers and sisters, now, <clears throat> these pronouns that we said, they are called the mirun munfasilun, detached pronouns, and they are always marfu. Huh? They are marfu, and most of the time, they will come as a muptada. Huh? And then, we have the same pronouns, they change their form when they become mansub and Majroor. Are you with me, brother and sisters? They become Mansub and Majroor. Okay. You have the, the page in your uh, handout. Open it, brother and sisters. Uh, I believe it is page number 10 that we, I told you. Huh? So, oh, okay. I think we give chutti to now Nath Manutha. Huh? Uh, we have understood it well, inshallah. And then I say, Kita Bu, bu. Are you with me? Huh? This is this is marfu form, and this is your majroor form. When the damir is attached to a noun, the result is. When the damir is attached to the noun, the result is mudah mudafili. You will never forget this. Huh? When the damir is attached to the noun, it is mudaf, mudafili. Instead of saying kitabu Muhammadin, I said kitabu hu, his book. Huh, brothers and sisters, okay. Now then, we have here huma, and then it will become kitabu huma. Are you with me? And if we have hum, kitabu. Kitabu hum. Okay? And then we have here, and we have kitabu. Mashallah, you are getting there. Ha. And then huma again. Kitabu. Kitabu huma. And then we have hunna. Kitabu hunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now then we have anta, you already know, so I will just write down kita buka, mashaya. And then kita, kita bu kuma. And then kita bu kum. And then kita bu Kita bu ki. Okay? 
کتابو کی دین کتابو کما and then kitabu kunna and then we come to kitab I want to write down bu and plus ya mutakallim is this ya mutakallim pull down the dhamma down pull the dhamma down pull the dhamma down ok so it became kitab be like this. Huh? Okay? And we will have to see all the time whether that it is kitabu plus ya or kitaba plus ya or kitabi plus ya. It will come. Whatever comes in the front, it will tell us. And then whether we have kitabu na. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What did I write? I wrote down Huh? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. I wrote down, brother. Okay? Now, if I join the pronoun with harf char, what will it become? Char majroor. Huh? Let us start with min. Huh? Okay? Min who? And I won't say, I won't write down too much. Min huma. And then, min hum. Okay? Min hum. Are you with me? And then, min ha. Huh? Are you with me? Min ha. And then next one, brother? Min huma. And then, min hunna. And then, Min ka, min kuma, min kum, min ki, min kuma, min kunna, and then min ni, min ni and min na. Okay, min na. Are you with me, brother and sister? Now, we just, we just learned a new zarf. Brother, we learned a zarf. What did we learn? In the let us join it. Let us join it now. Huh? Look at the board and say it. In the who? Next one. In the huma. In the hum. In the ha. In the huma. In the hunna. In the ka. In the kuma. In the kum. In the ki. In the kuma, in the kunna. Now, in the, uh, in the, and then in the na. Uh, see how easy it is, huh, brother? If you do it in sequence and if you memorize it, uh, one thing will lead you to everything. Now there is a little change, brother. Okay. That little change, I have to explain to you. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> what is this, brother? Yeah. Ella. Huh? There is no two dots here. Originally, what is there? Huh? What is this, brother? Abdul Samad, it is ya. Yeah. It is a ya. Yeah. Uh, but right now we pronounce as alif, but it is actually a ya, uh, ela and ala. Okay. Now when you attach a pronoun to it, then that ya becomes visible. When you attach a pronoun to it, these pronouns, you know, then the ya becomes visible. So I attend attach who to it? Huh? Now, how will I write down? Why did I write down he? No, no, no. no, no. Who is who, brother? Who is Mabni? 
Huh? Okay, now try to say, Elihu, say with your face, watch your movement of your, Elihu, Elihu. Brother, you are using so many extra muscles. And the sound is not pleasant. So just for that reason, for the ease of pronunciation, for the sound to be so musical to your ears, we change who into he. What do you say? Elihi. What did you say? Yes. Elias are Fuja. No, 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 no. That's what I'm explaining. Sister Mamuna, truly speaking, it is Elihu. Because who is Mabni? Okay. Who is Mabni? You only said Elihi because it's easy to say and it sounds nice to the ears. Okay, now, brother, I write down something else. We haven't done it, but just to give you the idea of your movement of your muscles in the mouth and the sound. Brother, what is this? What is? Fee. Fee. And then put who there. Say now, fee who. See how your mouth is. So what we do? Fee he. How sweet it is. Fee he. There was no grammatical change, Sister Mamuna. It did not become majroor. Because who, when it is attached to the harf jar, it's majroor. Men who? What is who? Majroor. Jar majroor. Huh? But when it comes to fi, we don't say fi who. We say fi he. Why? Because it's easy to say. And it sounds nice to the verb. So what is the rule? Or when the pronoun is attached to the preposition, if before the pronoun there is a kasara, okay brothers and sisters, or there is a ya with a sukun, okay, where will the changes come? Only in five pronouns. Where the changes will come? Five pronouns, brother. Nowhere else. Huva, Huma, Hum, and Huma, and Hunna. Okay, only in those five pronouns the change will come. When will it come, brother Hassan? When is Kasra before the pronoun? Or they say, Ya Mutakalli. Are you with me? Now I want you to, I want you to put fi in front of everything. In Mudaf Mudafili. What will you say now? Fi Kitabihi. Try to say fi kitabihu. See, just to feel it. Fi kitabihu. See how difficult it is. Fi kitabihu. It doesn't sound good. But now give it a kasra. Fi kitabihi. Fi kitabihi. So there is no grammar rule. It's a phonetic. Because of the sound, which is pleasing to the ear, and because you are not using that many muscles in the mouth. You are not making gestures with your mouth. Hoo hoo. Okay. Now, fi. What will you do? Fi kita bi he. Harfjar isam majdu mudaf mudafli. No grammar rule. Just spelling and phonetics. Okay. Fi kita bi hema. Huh? And then fi kitabi him. Are you with me? Now fi kita fi kitabi abiha. Huh? Fi kitabiha. So only in the first, see I have circled this. Here is I have left alone. Now huma again. Fi kitabi hima. And then fi kitabi hin. That's all. Are you with me? Fi kitabi hin. G? Five. 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 Let me write down. Uh, 
Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I have still, oh, who oh, time is flying. Time is flying. And I won't be able to complete it. Okay, now, brothers and sisters, this is one rule. Are you with me? The second rule is, see, in the handout that you have, these, they have a gray area. Are you with me? Mm-hmm. Why are these the gray area? For this reason. To point out to you that in these five pronouns, can you see there is a gray? Yes. They have been made gray? Yes. Just to show you. Huh? There was a reason for uh, putting it into gray. Now, brother, let us come with Ela. And put who there? What will you say? Elaihi. What will you say? Elaihi. Huh? Elaihi al Masiru. See, in the Quran comes. Elaihi al Masiru. Okay? Fine. And then what will be? Elaihi Hima. And then Elaihi Him. And then Elaihi Ha. No change. And then Elaihi Hima. And then Elaihi Hinna. 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 Huh? And then, Ilaika, Ilaikuma, Ilaikum, Ilaiki, Ilaikuma, Ilaikunna. And then in the end, Ilaina. But at the Ya Mutakallim, what is the Ya Mutakallim? Ya which represents me. Huh? Okay. So, you know, I said, now what happens, brother? I'm writing here, Ilai. Okay, now I'm writing with Ya with Sukun. Remember, brothers and sisters, remember, in Arabic language, two Sukuns cannot come together. No way, because you cannot pronounce them. So when the two Sukuns come, sometimes we drop one with Sukun, and sometimes we make some surgery. We make some surgery and try to remove those two sukuns. Huh? It's called in Arabic, iltikai sakinaini. Huh? It cannot come in Arabic. So, but I don't want to drop anything. So I do a little surgery. And what shall I do? I change that into fata. It will only change into fata under certain conditions. And more of that we will read in book three. More of that we will read in book three. Okay, now brothers and sisters, what is the pronunciation? Ilayya. It is in the Quran. Uh, how do I write? Ilay Ya. So remember, when you see Shadda, it is the same uh, letter of alphabet, but the first letter has Sukun, the second letter has a vowel sign. Uh, Fine, you got the idea? Now quickly, brothers and sisters, time is running. Well, let us run with the time. Okay? Ilayhi, Ilayhima, Ilayhim, Ilayha, Ilayhima, Ilayhinna, Ilayka, Ilaykuma, Ilaykum, Ilayki, Ilaykuma, Ilaykunna, Ilayya, and then Ilayna. Make it ala. Alayhi. Huh? Are you with me? Uh, how will you write down? Alay. Alayhi. Alayhima. Alayhim. Alayha. Alayhima. Alayhinna. Alayka. Alaykuma. Alaykum. Alayki. Alaykuma. Alaykunna. Alayya. What will you say? Alayya. You know why. Two yas came, so I gave it a fatah. Alayya, and then alayna. Oh, see how beautiful it is. This will make your understanding of the Quran one step ahead now. Huh, brother and sisters, why it came like this? Okay, brother, what is this, brother? B, with, huh? by, many meanings. Okay, let's put 14 pronouns. Let us put 14 pronouns. Ready? First one. Do you want to say Bihu? No. See how, how, how it sounds. Bihu? No. No, brother. First one. Don't jump to her. Stay with who? What will you say? 
be he. Why do you say be he and not be who? No grammar here. She said, Ramuna, just because the convenience of saying and the sweetness that it feels in your ear. Be he. How many words are there? Be he. Two words are there. Huh? What are they? Harjar and Isam Majroor. Are you with me? Be he means Jarun. Majroorun. Be careful, brother. Quickly now. Be he. Be hima. Be him. Be ha. Be hima. Be hinna. Be ka. Be kuma. Be kum. Be ki. Be kuma. Be kunna. And then be. Now, brother, when you say be, how many words did you say? Two words. What is it? Harfchar and isam majroor. Jarun wa majroor. And then afterwards, after you say be, bina. What a beautiful word. Tere bina hum kya karenge? Okay, brother and sister. So look at it. Tere bina hum kaise jiyenge? You don't mind my joking. Huh? But we are all adults. And we are serious just to laugh here and there. To make it little more. You know? Brother? Now tell me B. What is B in grammar? Jarun wa majroor. Are you with me? Why? This is harf jar. Huh? Huh? With me. Or by me. With me. Huh? Okay? Brother, what is this harf jar? And what is this? It's a majroor. You don't see it. But it is majroor. Huh? Because it's a pronoun. Uh, it's Mabri, brother. Samad. Uh, do you see how beautiful it is, brother? Be the two words. Be Archer and Ya Mutakalam. Jarun wa Majroon. Two separate words. Are you with me? Inshallah, you try to do some exercises. Uh, you have something, you know. And most of it we will do, Inshallah. Uh, next week, Monday, and we'll do lesson number 10, because all these will come. Last now, brother, last. I, I forgot, I should do it. Ism. What is it? I say, Ismuhu. Huh? Okay, now don't do Ismuhuma, no, because it has to change. Then it will become Asmauhuma. So don't do. So, brother, I say, point out to you, Ismuhu. Ismu ha. He, he, he will change it to ha. Are you again? Ismu who? Ismu ha. And then brother? Ismu ka. And then? Huh? Ismu ki. And then brother? Ismi. That's ismi. Khalas. These are the five pronouns. You should keep it in mind. Ready? One more time. Ismu who? Ismu ha. Ismu ka, ismu ki, and ismi. Because these are the pronouns are coming in the next lesson. When you say ismu hu, what did you say? What did you say? His name. More than that? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi, mashallah. See how beautiful it is. Ismu hu is mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Sister Salman, you will always remember Sister Salman. When the pronoun joins a noun, is muda muda. When the pronoun joins zarf jar, is jar majru. When the pronoun joins zarf, then it is zarf and muda Just remember this, brother. Huh? Are you with me? If I say ismi, what is this me? Muda muda Are you with me? Muda. Huh? I say ismu ismuka muda muda Ismuki. Mudaf mudafili. Ismu hu mudaf mudafili. Ismu ha mudaf. These are the things coming in lesson number 10, inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam wa fil akhirati hasanatam wa kina azab al nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin wa jalna lil muttakina imama. Rabbana takabal minna inna kanta samyul alim. وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ تَوَابُ رَحِيمٌ